Good morning. Uh, this is a uh, first for me, but I've been waiting for this for a long time. Today we are going to attempt to make a freestanding semi-portable mast tower that I can use for HF and for UHF VHF. So I've got a bag of concrete. These are four foot plastic um, garden stakes that I'm going to use to lift my verticals. Got a bucket. This is either inch and a half or two inch uh, EMT, which I've cut in half. I'll come back in a second. That's the clamp for my tram UHF VHF uh, antenna. That is one of those magic 17 foot, 10 foot fiberglass fishing poles from eBay. And the reason why I did this which you'll see later is that fits in there and that fits in there and as you can see I've already cut that 10 foot piece into about a three and a seven foot with the coupler on the short piece and you'll see why that was for two reasons number one so I can reach it because I don't have a ladder and also because I have a Honda Fit hatchback that isn't that long and I couldn't fit it in the back of the car. So, let's get started and see how this goes. All right, so this is my first concrete project ever. Don't really know what I'm doing, but since I'm just using it for weight, I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm about yeah, six inches up the bottom, about half that bag of 60 pound. And you can see, I have the mouth, the, the coupling part up at the top, and I'm trying to brace it to keep it relatively centered. It's about 65, 70 degrees out here, which I know is a little cool for concrete, I guess. And it is 940 in the morning. So we'll leave that for a few hours and see what happens next. Okay, it's 2.30, so it's been a couple of hours. Uh, concrete is stiff, but not solid, uh, but, you know, solid enough for me to play around with the next step. <clears throat> so I put a bolt through it right here to stop the pole from sliding all the way through, and you'll see that in just a second. <clears throat> so that is the 17-foot fishing pole from eBay for 10 bucks. And I'm going to put my wire antenna on it. I'll be right back. So this is a QRP guys 20, 30, 40 vertical kit. Ooh. Oh, there's the sun. Sorry, people. On my 17 foot pole. And there's one of the radials on that plastic lawn post thing. So I can elevate my radials a little bit, which I read is a good thing. So now I understand why I cut that pole the way that I did. And here we are from the other angle. So there's my pole. And I got my one, two, three, four radials, 10 footers, because that's what the kit says to use. And the ends are just zip tied onto that stake. And I got my coax going in the window so I can sit in the air conditioning. And I can take this thing down in just a moment by collapsing that rod. So let's see what she does. So I'm here inside the house. I'm here in the house and I've got my Nano VNA hooked up and I'm running a sweep on 20 meters and we are under 1.8 going down to 1.4 so not too bad. So now we're going to hook up my Venus DR4020 and run some JS8 call. And for the final piece, 
That is a Tram 1171 dual band UHF VHF. And if you look here, this is the other half of the pipe. And there we are. <clears throat> and it seems to hold okay. I probably could have used a little bit more weight, but I'm not in any real fear of that going anywhere. And I've got nothing close by, so if it falls over, it's not a big deal. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm at 10 feet or so. Not quite clearing the top of my house, but it's better than being on the ground. So there you go. I've got a multi-purpose base. Thanks.